Benita from Knitting in the Mitten here, and um, this video is going to be a mishmash of things from the past couple of days. Um, just little snippets and vignettes. It's a beautiful spring day. Daffodils are blooming. The forsythia is trying to bloom. The Lenten rose is blooming. And lots of other things are coming up. The hostas are coming up. And things that I don't know what they're called are coming up. So it's a beautiful day. It rained last night. So my carrot seeds and my onions and my kale have been watered. And two days from now, we expect snow. So let's see if that happens. My mom and I went to Paulette's Potting Shed's open house last night, so if you've never been there, check it out. It's in Decatur, Michigan, and um, they have beautiful succulents, and as you'll see from the upcoming photos, um, she has a very interesting way of presenting them, so enjoy. Today, Saturday, we went to the Box Factory for the Arts for their Maker's Market, and you'll see a photo of my mom and our neighbors, Jeff and Teresa, and their beautiful setup with their vessels that they make. Let me show you what I bought. So this is the one that I bought to hold on my little cloths that I use. Um, it will sit next to my sink, and it's made from all recycled materials. So um, I know that some of these um, pieces are dog food bags. And so um, it's just really fun. And it looks pretty, it looks prettier than my plastic container that I was using. So, and I supported some local artists. So it's a win-win. So it's getting colder and the snow is coming. So I went to the um, community thrift store in Paw, Paw which is a great place to go, and I found these shears. Actually, I found three of them, and I'm gonna put them over the new plants in my new little raised bed and over my strawberries that are starting to bloom because I don't want them to die in the snowstorm. So we'll check in tomorrow morning and see if we have snow. So I've covered up as many of the strawberries as I can and I guess it'll be a little experiment to see if the covered ones do better than the uncovered ones. But um, it's the best I can do, so good luck little strawberries. All right, so there's snow on the ground, which probably means I'm going to Chicago, <laughs> and it does mean that. Um, we got a couple inches of heavy wet snow, but thankfully the steps aren't too bad, and the roads don't look bad, so I think it's gonna be okay. We are going on a tour, on a Devil in the White City tour through the Chicago Architecture Foundation. And um, if you don't know about the Devil in the White City, it's a book about a man who was a serial killer during the 1893 World's Fair, and it's a true story. So we're gonna go on a tour today and see what we learn. So let's go to Chicago. The highlight of the Devil in the White City tour for me was a surprise visit to the Japanese garden. Um, it was a gift from Osaka, Japan. Uh, so anyway, if you ever get a chance to go see it, it's um, on the south side of Chicago. And it's not very big, but it is beautiful. And I had it on my list of things I wanted to see in Chicago someday. And I didn't realize it was on the tour, but there it was.
we had a lovely day in Chicago after a snowy night um, it was beautiful there was no snow on the ground and it was in the 40s I think and sunny and it was perfect um, so then I got home and there's still snow in the shade so the reason they called Chicago the White City in 1893 is because at the World's Fair um, or the Columbia Exposition they painted all the buildings white um, so they built these temporary buildings huge buildings um, for the World's Fair and they were all white and thus it's called the White City so if you want to learn more about the Columbia Exposition in 1893 in Chicago which I think you should want to know more about it it's fascinating you can read The Devil in the White City, which, um, again, I said is about a serial killer. Supposedly the <clears throat> first um, serial killer in the United States, which we decided maybe is he was just the first um, identified serial killer. But anyway, it was a good book. Another book that I read recently about the same time period is called um, City on Fire. So I also recommend that book about the same topic. So thanks for watching. And it's that time of year now where a lot is happening on the weekends. So um, who knows what future vid videos will hold, but subscribe if you haven't, because um, it's always fun to see that number go up. So thanks.